Okay, so this is good. Now let's go and click on this burger right here. And you see in the, if I click here, you see that we're still using our ID and that's because this is what we chose. So let's change that very quickly uh, by going to uh, where the products are, which is the home page. Where is the home page? Uh, views. I'm getting blind, it's index.php. Okay, so we are looking for, this is the slider here. We are looking for that one item, which we are going to eventually uh, shift to a single file. So this is where it is right here. Okay, so we may need to shift this to a single file. Now, right here, what I want to do is, change the link so the link is right about where is that a tag it's right here so it says product details and then row id so instead of id let's put slug at the very end there okay now we have to also change so that uh, it expects a slug on the other side so if i click here you see that now the link is pretty good at the top here burger 250 with a drink okay but we are not getting the result we want. So to do that, let's go to single uh, product details.php. And this is where we are supposed to check. But because remember, there's no logic inside the, uh, the views. So obviously we have to go to the controller and keep everything in the controller. So product details in the controller here. So it says select all from product ID where ID is equal to ID. Now. What is ID here? ID is the ID that we send there. Now this has become a slug instead. So let's change that name so that we do not get confused. So I will change that to slug like so. Okay, so slug slug. And so what I will do is say add slashes. Uh -huh. Now add slashes. Uh, is not really, um, let me go to core here. Let's go to functions. Mm -hmm. Let me come back here. So add slashes is the function we use to clean our, our data. So if somebody sent data like this, uh, John's mom, if this is the user's data, this data is going to be truncated to John only. This uh, apostrophe there is going to be considered a special character because it is a special character in um, in MySQL. But it's it's okay because we do use uh, we use prepared statements, so this is not a problem. But if you were not using uh, prepared statements, this would be a big problem. So you would fix that by putting everything you get into add slashes. So it's just good practice to still do this regardless because in case you change your system in the future, it will still be there. But the problem is, uh, you know, these functions do change the way we do. In future, you may want to change how you escape your values. You might want to create a custom function. So instead of using add slashes directly like this, let's use escape like this. Now, of course, escape is not a real function in PHP will have to create it. So the reason I've done this is because if we use this, uh, the function we created ourselves, it means in case in future we want to change how we escape our values, we can easily just go to this function and change that. Because the problem with add slashes directly is we can't do, we can't change how it functions because it comes with PHP. But this is our on made function, which we can change how it works. So I will go to the functions.php that is inside core folder here and create a escape function right there. So I'll just say function, yes, escape like this, and I'll say data. And then I'll just say add slashes. So we are just adding slashes again to data like that. And I'm just return exactly this. So I just say return that 
Okay, so it might look redundant why we are doing this and not just adding it there. But the advantage of this is in case in future we want to do something else to data, we can add more code here rather than using add slashes on its own. So this is more future proof, so to say. Okay, so let's go back here to our controller. So we have our slug escaped, even though it's unne <coughs> unnecessary because we're using uh, prepared statements. But then now I think things are going to work. So let me come back here and refresh the page. Okay, so it's working now and there's burger there and everything. So if now I go back to the to here and click on one of these that doesn't have a slug, then I get this problem. So let's fix this problem right here. So if we do not find uh, anything, if nothing was returned, we have to tell the user that nothing was returned. So what I will do here is, because data raw is only available, should only be available if we did find something. So what I will do here is just put a simple if statement and I will say something like, uh, actually, let's do that uh, quick if statement. So what I want to do is to tell it that if I did find a perfect row or a row came back, then uh, I should set this to the row. Otherwise, I should set it to false. So what I want to do is just say row like this. This is the uh, question, uh, the, the condition here is array. Is this an array or not? So like that. If is array row, then question mark. So if it row is an array, then set this to that or else set it to false like this okay and uh, that solves the problem so now we just have to fix the actual uh, view let's go to the view now so it can check uh -huh. so this is the view and we have our data over here so where exactly are we reading our data from so let's come down here your your Oops, this is taking way too long. How much do we have down here? I think I may have passed it. This is why it's a good idea to put those single files in um, in a separate file. That way it's easy to get to where you want because there's way too much information here and it, I waste a lot of time trying to go through this to find exactly what I'm looking for. You know, you may waste two, three seconds. That's that's precious time, man. That's time you could be spending with your family. Three seconds, yeah, exactly. Oh my God, what's going on here? I think I'm in the wrong place. Okay, so product details is the wrong file. Or oh, is it? No, it is not. It is the correct file. Okay. Why am I acting like I do not have a search? So let me search case sensitive. There we go. Image root. Okay. So we are not even asking the question of if. So I was looking for something that does not exist. So what we need to do is ask the question. So all this data, uh, let me see here. So I have to choose what I want to actually show if the data did not come through. So let me try here and end things right there. I'm just going to say die over there. This way is how you know exactly what will show up there. So it will say something like this, but I don't want this because I want people to still be able to see the categories over here, even though they didn't find the item. So they can navigate maybe to a different um, category of items. So let me cut this out and let me come down here and find uh, brands. Okay, we are still there. Okay, product details. So shipping, price range. Okay, so all of this is part of the one side. So let me try here. Bam. Okay, so there we go. So the categories are still here, which is good, but uh, the rest is not. So 
now I know that I just need to hide this div and that's it. So let me see, I have clicked on it here because it's underlined now and I want to see where it ends because there will be another underlined ending div which I can't seem to find. Or is it much, much lower down? And it turns out it is. So I will put a, um, a comment here end product okay then let's go back up to where we put our php tags where did we put those tags right here start product that way next time we don't have to go around looking for this so right here i will ask the question um i'll say if if raw, because I know raw is going to be false, if, uh, let me put a full colon there. If raw, then we continue here. So let me copy this and come down again here to put an else statement, right where we mentioned that this is the end. So right there, I will paste that and just say end if. and put a semicolon like that so that's where our if statement ends but instead of just that let's put an else statement here so i will say else and put a full colon like this and then now let's create uh, a div over here and say that product was not found but i have done the opposite here let me go up here again before I make this mistake. So instead of if, oh, I think that's actually correct. So let's refresh now. And you see this product was not found. So you can um, style this a little bit better. So let's do just a quick styling job here. So I'm going to say style and I will say uh, padding. Let's add some padding uh, of 1M. And then I will say background color, I will say gray. Let me put the color as white. And then let's put the margin as 1M as well. And then let's make it text align center. Okay, I think uh, that should do it. So let's come back here and refresh the page. Okay, so not looking great at all, but it's saying uh, product was not found. So in order to make it look greater than this, let's add this div in inside. Let's put this inside that div. So I'm going to move this div, closing div, one step down. And then I will go to the very top where I put my if statement and do exactly the same thing and put this div right above it because this is a div that contains the styling for this section. So let's refresh and there we go. Okay, so now we get this product was not found. The only thing remaining here is to put, uh, to make sure that uh, this text is huge so that somebody does not miss it. So we can probably do that by adding it inside an H2 tag like that. And let me closing H2 instead of having to deal with font sizes or you can edit the font size directly. So that product was not found. Okay, so good. Let's go back here and click another product. Like that product was not found, but let's look at a product that will be found. And there we go. Okay, so pretty good. So all we have to do now is delete these others. Delete, delete, delete. And delete. Yes. So that we don't have these faulty uh, things. Let me delete this one as well. Delete. There we go browse okay so now we have one product literally okay so hope you've learned something new here in the next video we'll look at how to size these images so that they are not so different i'll see you then